Our weather patterns have changed. Nice now. Yeah. yeah. We have a changed weather pattern, so I don't think we're going to see those kind of storms until the middle of next week. Sounds good. All right. Take a look at some pictures sent in some uh, from our team viewers today, especially from uh, Dylan John Wade Cox. That's a great name. He took this picture of positive lightning. We talk about positive lightning strikes. There's one coming up from way high in the storm and hitting the ground. That was off Lido Beach this afternoon. Very powerful, forceful, but also Today at Sarasota Jungle Gardens, very delicate and gentle and beautiful as well. From Meg Francis sending this picture of a beautiful blue butterfly. We'll need a little balance in that after a very stormy day. Currently at 79 degrees, our dew point 74 and our humidity 84% with calm winds. The storms have now moved out into the Gulf of Mexico and it's a very quiet evening. Now, we're not going to see this pattern of storms forming from the collision of the sea breezes over the middle of Florida and moving westward each afternoon, at least until next Wednesday and Thursday. So take a deep breath and enjoy a beautiful weekend coming up across the Sun Coast. This is the rainfall totals for the last 24 hours. Most of the storms that came by about four or five, six o'clock. And we got as much as around two and a half, three and a half inches. Uh, uh, Siesta Key, two inches offshore. Uh, Central Sarasota County, just south of Mayaka River State Park, an inch. Bradenton, though, only about a third of an inch. So all that is all gone. We won't see any more like that for quite a few days. Taking a look at the tropics, this is Tropical Storm Fiona moving northwestward. And this is another area that's moved off the coast of Africa. Now we're going to track it moving on a course sort of like this through next Tuesday. I don't think it's going to be a threat to the United States, but we'll definitely keep a close eye on it. It looks like Fiona's not going to be a problem. It's got 45 mile an hour winds and and through the weekend and early part of next week, it's going to waffle, I guess you would say, in strength, becoming a tropical uh, depression, then back up to a tropical storm, weakening to 35 and getting back up to 40 again. That's the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center. All in all, you can see here's Florida, there's the storm, not a threat for us. Across the nation, look at this little dip in the jet stream, a little cold front, bringing a taste of autumn this weekend to the northern plains and maybe as far south as Chicago. While we're down here in the subtropics enjoying um, a little moisture, you can see the blow off from the storms moving out in the Gulf and then skies clearing and they'll stay that way for the rest of tonight. Here's our RPM computer forecast showing that to right on through tonight and tomorrow, it should be dry. And uh, look at this. Tomorrow afternoon, we're not seeing a big, solid block of thunderstorms coming our way. They kind of come in the middle, but don't make it all the way. And there'll be even less of that come Saturday and Sunday and Monday as we just block off that kind of flow. So here's our forecast for tonight. It'll be partly cloudy and warm. It's a beautiful moon up there shining down on the state of Florida. 76 for the overnight low, our average 74. Winds will be light overnight. And for tomorrow, partly sunny day. Great beach weather not only for tomorrow, but also for Sunday, and Saturday and Sunday with high temperatures around 90 degrees. Great way to beat the heat. 20% chance of showers tomorrow with a high temperature of 90 degrees. And here's our seven day outlook showing the chance goes up and down between 20, 30, 20, 30 percent right on through the early part of next week with high temperatures remaining pretty close to 90 degrees and overnight lows in the mid 70s. It is summer in the Sun Coast, Haley, so this is what we would expect. It's going to be hot.